We had Steve Coogan sitting on the sofa where you were yesterday talking about his new film, Greed, which looks at the impact that the fashion industry has on the environment in particular. Yes. And it's something that you've picked up on here yep. from the Financial Times this weekend. Yes, I mean, to be honest, it's in quite a few papers. The, just the need for... for for fashion in the fashion industry to really engage. And what we found with um, the London uh, uh, Fashion Week and the London and the New York Fashion Week, but not with the Milan Fashion Week, is that they stopped sending out paper invitations. They were looking for more creative ways to do that. Mm. Sometimes they've wrapped them in uh, excess pieces of, fashion, of fabric. Um, and uh, brands like Prada have started doing lines in recycled nylon. Um, you know, all sorts of things even just harking back in the styles to previous eras. And I think... The fashion, though, is that they constantly want us to refresh our wardrobes. The whole industry is predicated on us going out and spending money and wanting mm. something new, a new style, a new idea. But I think what we're, what we're really seeing with high-end fashion is that they're pushing back on this and saying we should buy mm. fewer pieces and spend more, more, yeah, more on them, them yeah. i.e. buy their fashion brands. Mm. But actually, and, and the lower-end fashion is really struggling now because people want things that are sustainable. They don't want their cotton top to have cost you know years worth of water supplies in in other countries they want to know that they've done good by the what they're wearing so i think that's actually going across the board and even teenagers who don't have very much disposable income are choosing to buy things that are a higher end